Hey everybody, on this episode we're going to 3D print this wrench. Um, hopefully this is going to be another in this series of useful household 3D printable items, but I'm not sure how useful a plastic wrench is going to be. But we're going to do some tests and find out. As you can see, I am here on Thingiverse, where I get most of my models from. Uh, this wrench was created by a person called Barspin. Um, he actually has a YouTube channel, if you go into uh, details. He has a video here on it. Um, he actually printed a really big one of these. Um, and kind of tells you some different ways to free it up and things like that, so if you want to check it out. Uh, it's definitely a good place to go. Also, if you go into the different files, he's got all sorts of different versions of it. He's got dual extrusion, um, more space in between everything. So if your printer has uh, more of a issue with printing small parts together, um, you can kind of open up the gaps a little bit so that they'll be, so that they'll move uh, better. Here we are in the Dremel slicer. Um, if you look at this, you want to make sure to print this. Ah, make sure to print this with the 3D print up, because um, you see the bottom of it's actually flat. So you don't want to print it like that because then you'll have problems with stringing. Uh, what I did for mine, I did 20% infill. I did 122 millimeters per second. Uh, 0.2 millimeter layer height and my temperature at 120 um, with the filament that I'm using. So now we're going to send this over to the printer. Dremel has the removable build plate, so I was just able to take uh, the whole build plate out. I'm going to remove the model now. I want to be very careful around the uh, movable areas because I don't want to break anything in there. And I normally wouldn't show this part, but since this is a movable part, I wanted you guys to see how hard or easy it is to kind of free up the whole thing. So if you look at this, you can see I printed it with, well, I picked the model that had support material. So these, these little pieces on here kind of holding everything in place. So I'm gonna to try to get those off real quick.
So, unfortunately, I started removing the support material wrong. And now, as you can see, it's all messed up. So, that's no good. But, I printed another one. And figured out how to remove the support material. Basically, um, all of these, let's do this, all of these are just pieces that come out, um, you don't need to cut them. So those two came out correctly. This one unfortunately broke off, but I think I can still get it. All right, let's see if we can get this thing to move. So I finally got this all working. Um, this is actually a couple days later. I had to take a break and kind of do some other stuff. But got this all working. Um, ended up using some vegetable oil. And I went back and I read some more... Uh, on the Thingiverse file and it said the smaller version is actually much harder to get moving when you print it in PLA. So I printed a much bigger version of it and I'm going to show you guys what I did to loosen up the smaller one and get it going. This one did have a little bit of problems in the back with the threads not going quite right, right but I think it'll still work. So the biggest problem I had was getting it actually moving, and what I did for that was I just tapped the wrench itself on a surface or like your hand, because this one's big enough for that. So you see now that piece is free. Then I took some vegetable oil just on a paper towel. and dipped it right on the threads itself. You can hear the, the part that's actually clicking is the part of the print that didn't work out quite right. So we got that all working nicely. This is the bigger version that messed up on the threads. You can see that they're not quite all the way there. It seems to still be working a little bit, um, but I'll probably go back and do some cleanup on it. But I do have this smaller one. Um, you can see there's no problems with the threads on that and it actually works. I've got these all cleaned up. I still need to do some work on the threads of this one. Um, guys, in the comments below, give me some ideas since this is supposed to be a useful things video. Um, I want to test this out on some stuff, but I want to get your ideas. I've got a couple of my own um, things I want to try, but definitely in the comments below, leave your ideas of things you want me to try to remove or tighten or whatever you guys have in mind. Um, so leave those in the comments below. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please like, favorite, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.